What's that? <laughs> what? Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm, I have a quick legal question. I'm just curious. What if, hypothetically... Oh, God, you killed somebody. No. Someone else did. No, no, no one killed anyone. May mutilated, disfigured. Let's not split hairs. No, no, I'm not even sure there is a problem. You know, I, I'm running tests. Tough break, Thunder. You're not my mom, Jim! You're not my mom! Long blonde hair. <laughs> talking very fast, talking very fast. Frick, frick! <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I think you'll find me more than qualified. I'm hardworking, reliable, and I recently figured out how to open up my briefcase. Congrats. Take a look at that for me and grab me a cup of coffee. No sweat. Oh, I just had it. Dr. Cox? Chief Dr. Cox. Chief Dr. Cox, I'm a lawyer. I shouldn't have to get you coffee. How do you feel about that? Can't even pretend to care. Fine. No more getting me coffee. Yeah! 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 Is this really that big of a moment for you? Yeah! Keith, I'm already covering three floors. Can you believe this, Ted? Hey, research buddy. We're four seconds in and I'm already regretting my decision. Things Jordan says during sex. <laughs> Next. Inspiration. Now, I just want you to know, you guys all have the potential to be amazing doctors. And finally, a dose of fear. Okay, I'll see you guys. Ah! <laughs> okay, so you just asked that a girl who's stuck in an MRI machine without ever seeing her face. Remember, no matter what she looks like, be sure to play it cool. Yes! Yes! Yes, you are hot! Smoking hot in your face! I'm going to let the real me come out. And the real me wants to do it again. And she wants to do it rough. Oh, I don't know, Danny. The real me's not really into that. Give it to me! Ah! Oh, my God, Danny, I'm so sorry. I thought this was what you wanted. It was. Yeah! You can drop the macho act now, dear. They're gone. Act schmack. The lips stay zipped. Zipped schmipped. I'm going to toast you so bad, your mama ain't even going to recognize you. Yeah? Well, I heard that your sister started drinking again. I'm still not great at smack talk. I may have killed you, but I think I was upset about it. Today was Laverne's funeral, but Dr. Cox was having more trouble adjusting to his new baby's name. What's wrong with Jennifer Dillon? You named our daughter J.D. It's a beautiful morning! J.D.? Sorry, I was thinking about something else. What are you looking at? Oh, no, I just, I, I like your shirt. What, what, what kind of shirt is that? It's a white t-shirt. I knew it! <laughs> First, we're going to play a little game called Answer the Question Correctly or Stay Here Forever, Debbie. What are the neoplastic causes of hyperprolactinemia? Uh, ectopic tumor production secondary to renal carcinoma. Close. But no Siggy. You'll be staying here forever. Did you think that was a little too mean? No. Wrong. It damn sure was. You're staying here forever. And Kenyon, in turn, can you answer me this? Is it even possible to give the right answer in this game? No. Correct! Yes. Unfortunately, you're still staying here forever. My game, my rules. Hey, you. Yes or no? What? Well, it's a new game. Yes or no? No. Wrong. Now you have to stay here forever. Go. Look at Newbie. 
Just because you have a new girlfriend doesn't mean that the world has suddenly turned into a giant green M&M. The Red Sox still suck. They do. Barbie here still can't decide what to do with those annoying bangs. And addicts everywhere will still lie, cheat, and steal just to get a fix. Now you've got to wake up, sweetheart. You're going to be late for school. Oh, you wet the bed. Why can't I have a normal child without these problems? You love spaghetti. You had some just last night, didn't you? No, I didn't. Jordan, the boy's lying to me. Oh, Perry, nobody likes a tattletale. Nobody does, Perry. All right, Jim. Just in case you get hungry later on. <laughs> it's just, uh, Dr. Cox, I've got a date with this guy named Sean. Would you do me a personal favor and excuse me just for one moment? Yeah. I don't know if they taught you this in the land of fairies and puppy dog tales where you obviously, if not grew up, then at least spent most of your summers. But you're in the real world now. Okay. To actually have you to hear you utter your self-written vows. My dearest Keith, my heart was like a vault, but you picked the lock like an apple thief who picks the first golden delicious of the fall harvest. I would think an arrogant ass like you would love having his very own clone. Up yours, Bobbo. Yeah, up yours, Bobbo. Outstanding. Come. <laughs>this is the reason why your headache didn't go away that's actually pronounced analgesic not analgesic sir the pills go in your mouth here's why you're a typical surgeon and as a rule you guys are insensitive and egotistical and you have the sense of humor about a fourth grader that's just not true who wants to touch my giant balls <laughs> Excellent, and I pulled all the x-rays you asked for, so I am yours for the night. Do whatever you want with me. Oh, my God, um, that totally came out wrong. I just I meant that I want you to use me, and I don't care how degrading it is. What? No, 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 it's just that I know that you like torturing people, and I am totally up for that. I just want to make you happy. Carla certainly tried to be as adorable as us. Ah, oh, darn it, you won. Unfortunately, Turk wasn't on the same wavelength. Oh!